In this video, I'm going to show you how to start winning all of the chargebacks on your Shopify dropshipping stores. So just very quickly, a chargeback is where a customer calls their bank and creates a dispute on a payment that was made from their bank account. The bank will then contact your store and you generally have 30 days to respond to this chargeback from the bank. It can vary, but generally it's around 30 days. When you respond, you're essentially letting them know that you shipped out the product and you have held up your end of the deal between you and the customer, or you can accept the chargeback. The customer gets refunded and you get charged a fee from the bank for the trouble of them having to deal with it, which is usually around $15. Again, this can vary. Now, the annoying thing is some customers won't even contact you to ask for a refund first. They'll just contact the bank directly and start a chargeback process or the customer is completely in the wrong. So they've received the product, there's nothing wrong with the product, but the customer wants a refund anyway, so they go to their bank. And in most cases, the banks will side with the customer because the customer is their customer. So they want to keep them happy. So that's how chargebacks work. Now, why do customers actually do this? Well, it's mainly because they can't be bothered to deal with the back and forth with your store. So they don't want to ship the product back to you and they can't be bothered with answering emails and all of that stuff in order to get a refund from you. Or like I say, there's nothing wrong with the product, but they still want a refund anyway. Now, the method I'm going to show you in this video to start winning chargebacks on your Shopify stores only works if you're a genuine store owner. So that means you're shipping out your products in a timely manner, you're providing tracking numbers, you're not using any shady sales practices like selling fake products or products that don't work as advertised and things like that. So with that said, I want to go over the four chargeback types so you know the reasons as to why a customer is contacting their bank asking for their money back. And then I can show you the Shopify app called Chargeflow that you can use to win these chargebacks. Now, before I show you how to start winning chargebacks, I think it is important to know the four types of chargebacks, just so you're aware as to why you might be receiving them. So firstly, you have fraudulent charges. So this is basically when a person doesn't recognize a payment on their bank statement. So this could be because someone has stolen their bank card or their card details, or perhaps someone they know used their card without them realizing, like a friend or family member. Next up, you have product not received. This one is pretty straightforward. The customer hasn't received the item. Now for drop shippers, sometimes this can be slightly tricky because the items might take 10 days or more to get to your customers. So as long as you have proof of the tracking numbers, theoretically, the customer should wait until the tracking says that the item has been delivered before they can claim that they haven't received the item and they can start initiating a chargeback with their bank. You also have product not as described. Again, this is pretty straightforward. Maybe the product is really poor quality or it's faulty or whatever the reason is. Again, ideally the customer should be contacting you first to ask for a refund before they contact their bank, but they don't always do this. Finally, you have credit not processed. So this is where a customer thought they were getting a refund from your store, but they never ended up receiving the refund. So they actually go and contact their bank. So now you know the four types of chargebacks, let me show you how you can actually start winning them. So in order to start winning chargebacks, you can install this Shopify app onto your Shopify store called Chargeflow Dispute Chargebacks. Now the great thing about this app is it takes less than 90 seconds to sign up. So you can just simply install the app onto your store to start winning more chargebacks. It's completely success-based pricing. So it's free to install and you only pay if they win a chargeback. So you might as well have it on your store. If you get a chargeback on your store, they will start going through the process of disputing that chargeback for you. And if you win, then you pay them. Generally, the payment is 25% of the original chargeback fee. So for example, if the bank is charging you $10, if Chargeflow wins, they'll charge you $2.50. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't wanna pay anything, but it's actually a very small amount in the grand scheme of things compared to the amount of work you actually have to do. When you're trying to win a chargeback, you have to go back and forth with the bank over and over again, contacting them. It can be very time consuming. It can take a lot of hours. 
So it is much easier to just use charge flow so you don't have to go through the constant back and forth and you can actually focus on other things for your store like marketing it and making more sales. And the other thing is the more chargebacks you win, the less likely you are to actually have your payment processes banned. If you keep getting loads of chargebacks and you keep losing them, then you have a higher risk of your payment processes banning you or holding your money. Now, the other thing is they don't have any contracts, so you can simply uninstall Chargeflow whenever you want. You, you know, you can stop using the service whenever you want. They have over 200 five-star reviews on their app, so the app pretty much speaks for itself. And the win rate is around 60 to 80%. So they win quite a fair few amount of chargebacks. And like I say, it can be difficult to win the chargebacks yourself because you don't always know the exact information that you need to upload for every chargeback type. Now, the thing that Chargeflow basically does is it integrates with your Shopify store, your payment processes like Stripe, PayPal, and Shopify Payments, and any customer communication platforms that you have to export all of the data that you need, like tracking numbers, like payment IDs, like customer communications, in order to win the chargeback. It's a completely hands-off experience for you as the merchant. You just install the app and they basically do everything else. And Chargeflow actually handle more than nine figures in chargeback volume every year. So they've got a huge amount of data to use in order to choose the right evidence that you need to win a chargeback based on the chargeback code. So the chargeback code will be one of the reasons that I mentioned earlier. So like I say, it's pretty much a no brainer type of app to use when it comes to winning chargebacks. So I will leave a link in the description to the Chargeflow Shopify app. And all you need to do is click on install. You can then click on install again. You can then connect your integrations to Chargeflow. So as you can see, it has connected Shopify payments automatically, but you can also go and connect PayPal, Stripe, and loads of other payment processes. You can then click on continue to dashboard. You will then be prompted with a message that says you need to approve the payments. So just click on activate, and then you will be brought over to this page and just click on approve. You will then be brought over to your charge flow dashboard. And from here, you can see a snapshot of all of the chargebacks that you're currently processing. So you can see the active chargebacks, you can see the evidence that has been submitted, you can see the chargebacks that are under review, disputes recovered, disputes that have been created, so new chargebacks. You can see the estimated savings based on the chargebacks that Chargeflow are winning for you. You can see the intentional fraud rate. So you can see people that are intentionally creating chargebacks on your store to get free products and things like that. You can also see the win rate. And down the bottom here, these will also be generated as charts. Because I've just installed the app, you can see that it hasn't generated the charts just yet, but it will go and display all of this data in charts for you to go and look at. You can also come over to the disputes tab. And in here, you can see all of the individual disputes. So you can see the disputes that are processing are currently open under buyer review, under bank review, the ones that you've won, the ones that you've lost, the ones that you can reappeal. So if you lose a chargeback, you can reappeal again. You can see action required. So if you need to upload any evidence like tracking numbers and things like that, and you can see any orders that were insured and any chargebacks that were prevented. And if you actually scroll down into the chargebacks, you can see the specific reason as to why the customer has created a chargeback. So you can see on my store here, we've got a few not as described, not received and things like that. Next up, you can come over to alerts. Now, Chargeflow Alerts gives you an extra layer of protection. It alerts Chargeflow immediately when a chargeback is processed. So you can click on activate now. You can choose your payment processor. So for example, if we choose Shopify Payments, and from here, you can enter in a statement descriptor. So when a customer is charged by Shopify Payments on your store, this is what will be shown on their bank statement. You can then click on enroll and then you just need to enter in your payment information. Now, Chargeflow Alerts allows you to actually deflect chargebacks. So they work with companies like Visa and MasterCard to actually deflect chargebacks. Next up, you can click on integrations. And from here, you can integrate further payment processes. You can also go and integrate other platforms. So if you're on WooCommerce or BigCommerce, you can go and integrate those as well. Or if you're on eBay or Amazon, if you're selling across multiple different channels, 
you can go and integrate those as well. You can also integrate other subscriptions. So if you have a subscription app like Recharge on your store, you can go and integrate this. And you can also go and integrate customer communications. So for example, you can go and integrate Gmail. If you've been communicating with customers through Gmail or through Zendesk or one of these other apps. So this is really important because this will allow Chargeflow to get all of the information it needs to go and win those chargebacks for you. Next up, we have notifications. So from here, you can go and toggle on and off any of the notifications. So for example, one disputes, lost disputes, response due, any notifications that you want to turn on or off, you can go and do this. Next up, we have billing. So as you can see, the payment plan is 25% per recovered dispute, and you can go and choose your billing method in here. And finally, if you click on settings, from here, you can go and update your business details, like your business name, your contact email, your name, your phone number for your business and all of those types of things. Again, that's really important when it comes to winning chargebacks. So there you have it. That is how you can start winning more chargebacks on your Shopify dropshipping stores. I will leave a link in the description to Chargeflow so you can install it to your own stores and start winning chargebacks. If you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.